in many cases, well, yes, we like um, we like people to take as much as natural intake of uh, vitamins and minerals as possible. But for many cases, in women with PCOS, the research has shown that they need to have at least four grams of the myoinositol. And for the D-chiro, it's best to have a 40 to one ratio because that is the physiological ratio that's in the body of myo and d inositol. So if it's two gram or four gram of the myo inositol, then it would be 50 or 100 micrograms of the um, d inositol, keeping that balance. And then from food, there's only so much that you can get. So only so much of the rice and the beans and the corns that you can consume to get that specific amount. Um, so it's always a good idea. I believe that, um, again, this is like the diet. Maybe it will not work for everybody, but I've seen many, many women with PCOS that just adding the simple, you know, supplement to their regular, you know, regime of whatever they're taking is really helpful in getting their ovulation back on track, getting the menses back on track. If they're trying to conceive, if they're even planning to do an IVF, there's research done that it helps in IVF outcomes. 66% of women that were taking inositol combinations um, had ovulation after six weeks. Uh, and this is women that don't ovulate regularly. So there are women that have not had their menses for months on end. Like they only get two periods a year or three periods a year. This is a sign that you're not, like they're not ovulating, right? So after six weeks, it usually comes back on track, ovulation happens. And then in many cases, either automatically they can conceive or with a little bit of intervention, they're much more successful in conceiving and also carrying the child to term because miscarriage is also a problem. So that inositol combination also helps during pregnancy to help them carry to term. That's another factor.